What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm gonna be showing you seven of the best new iPhone games to check out this month. All right, so I'm gonna have links in the description for all these. Gonna kick things off here with Hyperscape. All right, so this is a brand new game. It's currently free. Now it's a high score based game. There's a bunch of different levels to play through in it and it is very addictive. So anybody out there, or to all my people out there that love these really addictive, you know, simple, but you know, just awesome games, you know, definitely check this one out ASAP. The uh, soundtrack on it's really good. The music changes quite a bit. Um, I'm not exactly sure what my high score is right now. I've played through it a couple times, but just found this game to be pretty awesome. So you know, definitely give it a, a download ASAP. All right, cool. We just beat my last best score. Pretty proud of that. All right, let's keep it going here. A little turbo there. Man, we're just cruising right now. All right, looks like I'm gonna die, but you know what? I hit my best score ever. You know, like I said, just uh, you know, some ridiculous stuff on this game. It's just awesome. You've got pretty much uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like uh, seven or eight different areas to play through, you know what I'm saying? So check this game out ASAP, it's very addictive. All right, Missile Dancer. So uh, this game's really cool. This is a uh, like arcade style shooting game where you're locking missiles in on you know different enemies. Uh, I found it to be really awesome. It's currently a paid game, it's going for a couple of dollars. But it's got a really cool like old school arcade vibe to it that I really like. And uh, you know anybody in there that's looking for like a really cool arcade style base game, you know, absolutely give this one a download. Taking out these tanks. Dang, all right, we're doing pretty good here. Haven't died once yet. Uh-oh, boss battle. Dang, all right, cool. Looks like I beat that uh, level right there. Anyways, Missile Dancer, this game's really cool. Check it out ASAP. Probably my favorite game to come out right now, though, is gonna be Rambo 2. This game is, uh, you know, just like a 2D action-based game. It's really fun, though. It's level-based. You know, you've got different weapon upgrades for the main character, and uh, I remember back when the uh, first game came out, the original Rambo, definitely feel like they stepped things up here. And the game's just really sweet, so we'll kick things off here with a couple different levels for everybody, but um, it's currently free for download, so this game will not cost anything, which is nice. And, uh, you know, let's kill some bad guys here. Check this out, slow motion kill right there, boom. Got some grenades.
All right, cool. So anyways, Rambo, I mean, this game is just awesome. Uh, you're going to have different weapon upgrades, you know, different weapons to choose from. And there's a lot of levels to play through in it, and it's free. All right, so Mushroom Guardian, I've been loving this game. It's a platformer. Big fan of platform games, so anybody out there that isn't a platform-based game, definitely check this one out. Uh, a lot of different levels in it. We'll kick things off here with, like, level 2 and 3. Alright, so another thing about this game is it's a constant running game, so you're constantly going to be running. Uh, there's no way to really stop, so you got to kind of always be on your toes. Kind of like a Super Mario run, I was saying, uh, when I did some gameplay on it, that that's kind of what it reminded me of. Alright, let's get into level 3. Okay, anyways, Mushroom Guardian, great platformer. Definitely check that one out. All right, so Dungeon X Dungeon, another platform game. It's um, kind of got like an old school vibe to it. So, I mean, that's kind of why I like it. Uh, and it's, uh, it's pretty sweet. So we'll kick things off with a new game. Kind of go through some of the beginning of it so you can kind of see what's going on. But you're going to be killing like, uh, you know, skeletons, you know, bats, all kinds of like weird enemies in this, and it's level based too, so there'll be a lot of different levels to play through. Uh, the game has also got some really good controls on it, you know, controls are solid in it, no problems there. All right, taking out that bat. All right, we got some wall scaling going on here, too. So you're going to be going up ladders, wall scaling, all that good stuff. And I said the controls are really good, too, so you don't have to worry about that. All right. Uh, anyways, I'm going to wrap things up here on Dungeon X Dungeon, but it's another really cool platform-based game that came out recently. Definitely think it's worth checking out. All right, the adventures of... Uh, brave bob here um this game i'm loving this game it's very cool pretty unique it's got like a dungeon style to it so i mean that's kind of how it plays out main character has different weapon upgrades uh you know there's going to be boss battles in this and the game's just fun so i mean anybody out there that's into this type of game absolutely give it a download we'll kick things off here with level three only made it to level four but you know all right, so it's also turn-based, all right? So we got to kill, uh, you know, different enemies, you know, getting to take turns and whatnot. Looks like we got the kitchen boy coming up right here. Let's slice and dice him a little bit. All right, very nice. All right, then we got Finch the Dark Mage, of course, trying to come at us, but, you know, we're going to take him down. A couple of swipes. All right, very nice. I just poisoned him. Slice and dice right there. <clears throat> Alright, so this is another really cool game to check out. It's, uh, you know, really new. Um, and the last game we've got here is going to be Zombie Rogue. Alright, so it's been a while since we've had, like, a good zombie survival-based game. And I really think this one is it. It's uh, pretty fun. you got to be careful because you can actually turn into a zombie as you're playing it. So you got to be careful not to die. Alright, so let's uh, kind of make our way. So basically how this game works is you're making your way here. Uh, and you're going to start going down into some of the lower level floors. You say what's up to R2-D2, and then, of course, you're, uh, you know, hopping into it. And uh, you're getting into some of the action. So, uh, since it's a survival-based game, I've made it to, um, I want to say level 3 or 4 is as far as I've gotten in this game. But, you know, I'm still putting some work into it. And like I said, you got to be careful because you will turn into a zombie in this. We definitely need some health because it's not looking really good for us right now.
Wow, that was pretty weak. All right, so anyways, I died. Like I said, I've made it to like level four, but that was not my best showing. Uh, anyways, hope everybody enjoyed uh, this list of new games. They're all solid. I'll have links in the description for all of them. If you could also hit the like and share button on the side, appreciate it. Anybody out there that's currently not subscribed to us, hit that subscribe.